so let us come back and uh, do this identification type question so it's base basically uh, one one way is to find out a b c d like that otherwise they may give you the reagent and one step reaction that way or they may club uh, in the form of a paragraph and give you and ask you to name or identify the compound let's see so they said an aromatic compound a on treatment with aqueous ammonia okay let us write the basic thing a it seems is was treated with aqueous ammonia now what did it give okay a on treatment followed by heating forms compound b okay on heating forms compound b then which on heating with bromine and koh so br2 and koh forms compound c and they've given me the formula for compound c because at least if one clue is given to me it's easy for me to do the whole thing what is the c6h7n okay so c6h7n they said let us write now your benzene ring formula is c6h6 done but when it shares or it forms a bond with nitrogen this becomes c6h5 let us write that so this is c6h5 done now i still have one nitrogen and I still have two hydrogens, isn't it? Out of seven, five I've written, I have to two. Okay, that means it is aniline. Done. I've written that. So let us take that and write as compound C. This is aniline with the formula given to me. Let's start. So they said compound A with aqueous ammonia will give me compound B. Now remember this Br bromine and KOH. What is this? See where is this used? This is used in Hoffman's bromamide reaction. Okay, let us write Hoffman's bromamide reaction. I said it can be used to prepare aliphatic and aromatic amines. Now in Hoffman's bromamide reaction, what did we take? We have taken a compound called uh, amides. Yes, amides we then later converted into amines. Yes, so this should be compulsory amide. Why? Right? This will convert amides only to amines. Okay, if this is amide, how will I get amide? I can get amide by adding ammonia to acetic acid. We have learned this also. How? If this compound is acetic acid. How did I come to acetic acid conclusion? Because amide only how bromamide reaction is going to occur so compulsory this should be amide so come back take acetic acid and add okay aqueous ammonia they said in aqueous ammonia if i take suppose nh3 isn't it let me take h and nh2 this hydrogen comes out with this uh, as h2o done and what am i going to add i'm going to add nh2 to this so i get a compound co and h2 done amide this is acetic acid no sorry this is benzoic acid benzoic acid in the presence of ammonia is forming benzamide benzamide with hoffman bromamide degree or bromamide reaction i said this one carbon less this is lost with k2 potassium carbonate Watch that Hoffman bromamide reaction. You'll understand why am I trying to say this. And one carbon less, you get C6H7N, that is aniline. Apart from that, I said it's going to be potassium carbonate, potassium bromide. We've already studied that. So, this is aniline. So, this is what they want you to write. They asked me to find A. So, what did I get? A is benzoic acid. B is be benzamide C is aniline it's not clear okay that's it. this is how you're going to solve the reaction but important thing one clue will be given to you from where you can derive and important thing you will be given the reagents you should be clear with the reagents yes chloroform means carbylamine NaNO to HCl that thing where you're converting into chloro bromo benzene sand mayors bromine in KOH Hoffman's bromomide yes for Gabriel thalamide you'll use alcoholic KOH with thalamide so this is your reaction